Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video today. What are we doing? Originally, there was going to be no video today because I was too busy working. But then I totally forgot today is the day that someone gets released on JP that I need to talk about. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to do... Okay, I'm going to give you a warning heads up right now. You got about until one minute into the video before we get into some spoiler stuff. Mainly just names because I actually don't know what the hell's going on in the story at all. And if I I would ask you to prefer to not talk about it because I am planning playing on NA. And I'm going to see it in two years. All I really know is the name. I, I'm even hesitating a little bit on the picture even though we know exactly what she looks like. And I probably have to figure out a thumbnail for this somehow. Uh, how the hell am I gonna do that? I'm probably gonna have to end up revealing it because she is a new unit that just got released, but whatever. I'm gonna count it. But yeah, after this point, we're now done and I'm not gonna start saying names. One, two, three, go! And yeah, Kukulakan is here! Kukulakan! I was too busy, I was too uh, saying all my words all jumbled up, which is basically the Mayan version of Quetzalcoatl. Literally, her name, one of her nicknames is on here. Because the Kukulakan actually comes from a variant of Quetzalcoatl because uh, the people who invaded the Mayans originally worshipped Quetzalcoatl as like a huge serpent god and that's how they ended up making their own version of Quetzalcoatl, Kukulakan. So there we go, that's how we have them. I think she has different uh, different VA just to signify that she is a different person and it is Lost Belts up so I expect some weird funky stuff to be going with that. Um, as you can see here her rank is foreigner so... <laughs> it is going to be with that so yeah she's the new unit she came out she's related to lost belt 7 i don't know any of the story details really i know vague stuff i'm not going to mention them because it's not important i just want to see what the unit does i was told that she was crazy busted and i want to see why she's busted and we're going to go in here but regardless of her quality i'm summoning i'm getting her in two years I just need to see what kind of NP type she is, and basically whoever is the prevalent support for that, I'm getting them, and I'm using them, and that's it. End of story. Goodbye. Okay. Let's go. So she is a foreigner. She has one quick, one arts, and three busters, so that lets me say that she is a buster gorilla, just like regular Quetzalcoatl. Also, I'm using the Atlas DB for this, just to look at it, um, just because it's taking a... It's good... I need, the, I need the info now. It's going to take a while to get to the wiki and stuff. Um, but yeah, she there she goes. She has three buster cards. Arts quick. She has three hits on arts, three hits on buster, and four hits on quick, and five hit extra. Her star weight is 153 with her star generation of 15%. And uh, insta death chance, I guess it's 5%. Valentine CE to be released. Oh, man, she's coming out right at the exact time. I have no idea what any of this says. Uh, ooh, I think you actually can't see some of this here. One moment. Okay, here we are back. I have no idea what this says, but it's probably some form of Charisma A. Uh, I have no idea what any of these Japanese words say, but thankfully they have stuff down here that we can look at. So we have, uh, I'm also moving this as we go along. Cooldown is 7 turns at level 1 and 5 at level 10. Skill options are option 1, no requirement, but if you want to do option 2, you need to consume 10 stars. She applies attack up on party 3 turns, at level 1 it's 10%, at level 10 it is 20%. Applies chance of receiving critical attack down on party 3 levels uh, for 3 turns. Um, 20% at level 1 and 30% at the final level. And then applies attacker star rate down on of 20% by 20% on party attacker star rate dropped down I guess that means you get 20% more star rate I don't know it's a little bit funky because it's not 100% in English but I'm gonna take it as that option 2 500% chance to remove critical stars of 10 so if you have at least 10 crit stars you get this apply attack up on self 3 turns 20% at level 1 and 30% at level uh, 10 so all right not bad not bad kind of steep on some of the cost here but it's fine since you don't need to see what the name is because all of it is in Japanese I can go right here skill 2 this is oh wait make sure it goes here okay option 1 no requirements option 2 consumes 10 crit stars though so you need to have 10 crit stars a lot with her charges MP for one party member 30 she's a 50% for one party member <laughs> 30% at level 1, 50% at level 10, and increases their charge by 1? <laughs> Option 2, if you remove 10 crit stars, they also get evade 2 times for 3 turns! 
And she gives sure hit, which is okay. <laughs> it's better than not having sure hit. I think breaking invincibility is better. This seems like an insanely good skill. I mean, it's a high cost of consum consuming 10 crit stars, so of course, you're gonna have to make it worth paying the 10. And another one that requires 10, 10, 10 stars. No requirements, option one, but option two. Also, I will say that the second option here is definitely not a deal. It seems like it's just a bonus of which, if you don't need this, if you don't need the evaded, you don't need the sure hit, then you don't need to worry about the 10 crit stars at all. Uh, but anyway, moving on. This is the third skill right here, which is EX, something related to Buster. Option one is no requirement, and option two is consuming 10 stars. Apply invincibility to self for one turn. Applies card up for busters on self three turns, 20% at level one and 30% uh, at level 10. Critical damage up on self, 30% and 50% at level 10. And then if you remove the crit stars of 10, she applies NP damage up, which is 20% at level one and 30% at level 10. So actually very, very good. Her Noble Phantasm, which is a bunch of Japanese words, is a five hit buster. So that means I'm gonna be going for whoever is the buster support. <sighs> I was already going for him this year, so I'm of course gonna be going for both of them. Chances are, just to make sure, always be sure. NP gain, oh man, I cannot read any of this. Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea what her NP damage is at the moment. Um, let me see. Five hits. Deals 6%, 13%, 20%, 26%, and 35%. I cannot read any of this. It's okay. Apply special damage up versus threats of humanity by 50% for one turn. Deals damage with super effective damage against attribute earth to all enemies. Level overcharge. 300%. Wait, what? Oh, at the, at the base level of percent, it's 150% damage up. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Applies skill seal on all enemies one turn. Gains 30 crit stars and applies critical rate up to 30% on self. So there you go. She's just constantly giving out 30 crit stars on her NP. And I'm going to assume that this, since this hits, this is actually doing damage. I just don't know the actual base damage of it all. I assume because it's AoE Buster Foreigner. I think we can actually look this up. Because we have that, uh, we can go here to extra class, we can go to foreigner, let me see, one of you is totally a AoE buster, uh, is it Abby? Yes, Abby is an AoE foreigner buster, um, so it would be 300% at level 1, 400% at level 2, 3, uh, 450%, 4, 475%, and then 500%, I assume that is the base for all buster, and let me see if there's another buster um, forwarder that I can look at real quick. Uh-oh. Looks like things are breaking down on me, so I can't be doing that. So next. Um, okay. She has passives. Uh, what do any of these passives do? Okay. Applies, whatever this is, EX. Applies casted effect chance of buff negative effects by 8% when field or in party. Um, no idea what this one would be called. Uh, apply convert buff from invincibility convert holy shit she converts the invincibility buff to just be straight up the the second one the one that castoria just gives to all just gives it to herself 10 stars per turn on self and three percent and that's fucking insane she just gives herself 10 percent some units have to actively fight to get 10 percent to get 10 crit stars on anything <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let me see if I can look at it now that it's working again. Uh, this is a Buster AoE. Is Jack a Buster? I know you, you are. You're totally a... So yeah, this is what I would expect. 300% level 1, 400%. Okay, so that, that tracks. That's probably what her damage is going to look like. Wow, she just automatically applies that, gives herself 10 busted. That's crazy. And then also just a chance of buffing any... That's a fucking crazy passive buff. That's insane. Ah, uh, damn. And then her append skills. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, no, all these are related to the Grand Temple of whatever, so it's fine to show those, I think. Wait. One moment. Yes, it was It was fine. The final thing that was at the bottom was the Argar Argartha bust buff, which isn't anything related to that. Okay. And then her append skill for the third one is a bon is anti moon cancer. C 
because she's a foreigner, I guess, and she hates the moon. Sure. Uh, do we have traits? We do have traits, but I don't think it's anything to material. Oh, we have material for her. Yeah, there we go. I can say just based off of this alone, she seems like she'd be crazy busted. I don't really see a scenario where she's not crazy busted. I don't know, unless you're fighting against someone who's anti-crit stars from the jump, maybe that's a little bit tough. Um, you don't even really need a crit, like a crit bomb at all, because she supplies 10 right away, so right away, no matter what, even if ev absolutely everyone does absolutely zero quick attacks and you result in zero crit stars, her passives will always be up because you will always have 10 crit stars, regardless of anything. That's pretty crazy. That's really great. She also doesn't have the foreigner buff that everyone has, but I think it's because she has this. So she doesn't really need it. So, fair enough. Yeah, this is a, a fantastic unit. I'm also going to assume that this is AoE, based off what I saw from the one NP that I saw from her. Yeah, so she is, she's, she is AoE. She has to be AoE. Um, man. Oh yeah, attack physical. Duh, of course, this says it's AoE. I'm, I'm stupid. Physical attack card bust again right here you can see right here it says aoe and stuff like that so yeah she's uh she seems really good i don't know anything about the base stats but she's good enough for me to be wanting to just constantly do buster stuff and buster attacks and buster hits and best of all she's also kind of a, a pseudo support so she could also be run with a bunch of other kind of stuff not actually like a full-on support because she doesn't give anything like big but she does give like little tiny things so Mm, I'm gonna justify it so I can run around basically whatever I want. That is the unit, Kukulakan. Is oh, wow. There's nothing really more I can say here. I'm glad that they did her right. I was afraid that there would be some ways of not making her good, but to be fair, base Quetz was very good when she released. So I, and based off of what sh the prominence that this lady has right here, I think in the story. I think it makes sense for her to be crazy busted. I don't know anything else about that. Feel free to not tell me any of that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a very good reason why she's this good. Uh, I don't know why, but she's extremely powerful. And yeah, that's this video. I'm going to go back to work now, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you, girl, in two years. Two we'll meet back here in two years, and I'm going to pull you. <laughs> regardless of anything. Till next time, everyone, goodbye.